Hi, everybody. This is God Sat for the Sat Truth. I hope I'm not looking too sickly. Uh, this is my first on camera appearance uh, over the past uh, several days, in part because, uh, as some of you may know, I've been suffering from a very, very nasty cold and cough. In any case, I just received a an incredible uh, email from a transgendered uh, individual. Uh, I thought I would read it out uh, for you without any editorializing. Just read it and you make, you arrive to any conclusions that you'd like. Dear Mr. Saad, in the spirit of support against the madness of Bill C-16, social justice warriors and identity politicians at Loria University, I no longer refer to myself as transgendered. If anyone asks, I am a man with gender dysphoria. This is in no way a refutation of transgendered people or of this particular malady from which I have suffered terribly over my lifetime. I do, however, believe it is vitally important that transgendered people recognize and admit the realities of our biology. I believe this is important because it dispels the notion that one sex can magically transform into the other, which draws so much criticism and ire from opponents. At the heart of my suffering is the fact that no amount of cosmetic surgery can change my biological gender from male to female. At best, transitioning is merely one sex assuming the role and lifestyle of its opposite, which, under the circumstances, is a perfectly legitimate solution for many transgendered people. As cruel and insensitive as the criticism is, there is truth to the quip that so-and-so is just a man in a dress. Biologically, yes. Psychologically, no. I think if we were to emphasize the biological reality of transgendered people, the psychological side of things might appear more sympathetic. The old cliche, quote, he's a man trapped in a woman's body, close quote, or vice versa, is more helpful, though sadly no less derisive than claiming there are as many genders as there are stars. When Germaine Greer called Bruce Jenner, Jenner delusional, she was being both a bitch and absolutely correct. Trans people are, in that sense, delusional. We think for whatever reason that we are the opposite sex, but even if we are delusional or mentally ill, how about a little sympathy? By referring to myself as a man with gender dysphoria, it is my hope that people will see that, one, this is not a choice or lifestyle or fad. No sane person would choose this for themselves. It is a soul-destroying abnormality with no known origin or cure, and that people would have gender dysphoria suffer every moment of their lives. And two, not everyone with gender dysphoria is the same. There are varying degrees of it. People who wish to seek help in whatever form should be free to do so without recrimination or political exploitation. For example, a man, such as myself, who suffers from gender dysphoria, but tries to live life as a biological male, should not become the political tool of either the right or left and is not to be treated as a, quote, proof of anything for one side or the other. I'm just a person seeking help for what remains a socially unacceptable condition that afflicts me every waking moment of the day. On a side note, I should say that I do experience periods of remission when I think, wow, it's over. It's finally over. Believe me, if you've got it, it's never over. The teen who recently stopped living as a girl and who went back to his old biologically male self is not a proof case for the right, and if he is anything like me, he may be far from out of the woods, though I wish him all the best and hope for his sake that he is in fact free and clear. Denying biological science does neither science nor ourselves any good. The blatantly self-serving and hypocritical way by which science is abused by social justice warriors is as bad as their, abuse of, as their abuse of the notion of social justice itself. More than the baby is being washed down with this bathwater. As a man with gender dysphoria, I believe the greater consequence is reserved for those people who require help but will never receive it because it is politically incorrect to seek it in the first place. I am hated and silenced by both left and right, because I adhere to neither extreme. I'm simply trying to address what is best for the overall health of the individual first and foremost, and how to receive help 
in the most sympathetic and understanding way from a confused and hostile populace riled up by bills and rhetoric. I believe the sad truth, S-A-A-D, well played. I believe the sad truth of the matter is that the fewer surrounding trans issues stems from the fact that we all instinctively know in our DNA that we are a binary species. Even children who have seen me out on the town have the innate ability to read gender and see through my disguise because they know the difference between a boy and a girl, even if they haven't worked out the specifics. I myself was aware of my dysphoria very early in life. I must leave this off here for I fear I could continue on and on and on. I recently reread 1984 and was further dismayed by how much closer we are to fulfilling Orwell's dystopia. I, for one, wish to have no part in it despite the personal cost to my health, but I refuse to be a pawn of either right or left. I applaud you for your convictions and fortitude for your knowledge and wisdom, which you share unreservedly, and for your accessibility and humility. That's the message that I received. I wish this individual the best. And uh, there you have it, folks. A person who's honest, who recognizes that uh, th they're entitled to live uh, in full dignity, but also doesn't want to be a part of the... Uh, attacks on truth. Talk to you soon, folks. Take care. Cheers.